most racist people on paternity court. This is the reason. Let me see your evidence. That's a picture this of... Is the, this is a picture of Ileana when she was first born. And when the doctor made that comment, this is the reason why we're here right there. Okay, Your Honor, let me just say this. We are... Uh, uh, that was stupid. So I don't see where the doubt is. The doubt began because people continuously said, oh, she's white. Oh, my God, she's so white. Oh, she's so white. What's wrong with that? Miss Bido brought Mr. Bolton to paternity court after Mr. Bolton denied paternity of her baby on the pure basis of skin complexion. Mr. Bolton would detail what happened in the delivery room that caused him to have serious doubts. The doctor that uh, gave the procedure to deliver the baby, he handed me the baby and he looked at me. He said, are you sure this baby's yours? And I looked what? at the doctor, I looked at the doctor. I'm like, what do you mean? He said, because this baby's white. I'm looking at him like, what do you mean this baby's white? Jerome, so, have you ever heard of such? But That's a first for me. It turns out the doctor was the one who asked Mr. Bolton if he was the father. And I got to be honest, that doctor is one nosy person. Miss Bido would then explain her intricate family heritage that supposedly caused the baby to be light. I'm Dominican and black. He's Puerto Rican and black. People in my family have different color eyes. My eyes are hazel. My father's eyes are green. He told me that when he was a young boy, when he was a, a baby, as a matter of fact, his eyes were blue and then they turned green. So I don't see where the doubt is. Mr. Bolton definitely had valid reason to doubt paternity as even the doctor was skeptical. Miss Bido would then claim that she had always been faithful to Mr. Bolton. Even Mr. Bolton's family questioned if he was the father. We have friends and family come over to see the baby and looking at the baby like, oh, she's beautiful, she's beautiful. Is she yours? <laughs> That's not what they said, Your Honor, what they were saying, maybe on his side, but my side, they did make some comments, but of course I defended, that's my daughter, you know? Yep. So I see him all the time in her. I see a little bit of my features, but mostly I see him. Mr. Bolton had everyone around constantly asking him whether the baby was his, which understandably took a mental toll on him. Even people outside his own family, such as his boss, were not convinced he was the father. You know, but he looked at the baby, and he's like, Rico, is this baby yours? I look at him like, what you mean? He says, this is baby's whack. <laughs> so yeah. I'm like, wow. So now the doctor, your family members, people and your boss yeah, people are all just openly asking you. Yeah, this is baby mine. Another reason why Mr. Bolton was so eager to get a DNA test because he has been in this situation three times already where women have claimed he fathered their baby, but he didn't. Miss Bido would then speak about their relationship. We actually broke up last year around August, and it was due to infidelity on his behalf. Well, Your Honor, she was accusing me the whole time that I was cheating. I got a couple of buddies he that was. I hang out with before. I got a couple of buddies I hang out with. They do things on the side. Your Honor, now, I saw the text from the females. With that, being with them. The two didn't have the smoothest relationship as Miss Bido was constantly worried that Mr. Bolton was cheating on her. Miss Bido would eventually catch Mr. Bolton texting other women, and in response, Miss Bido left Mr. Bolton and got with another man. Yeah, sex with I gave him an op. That's you know right. I did and sleep so with somebody, but I did it the right way. I left you first. I was single. Hey, well. Yeah. And during the time you broke up and you left him, did you sleep with someone else yes, without using protection? I did. I did. I did. And let me tell you. It wasn't like that. I left him and it wasn't like, oh, hey, I'm single, let's go party, you know? Miss Bido had a pretty extensive on and off relationship with this other man. Mr. Bolton was convinced that this other man was the biological father after he went through images on Miss Bido's phone and found some crazy pictures. Pictures of him and his baby are still there, together. So I'm like, whoa, this, what's going on? Oh, pictures of him and... His baby. And his baby yeah. are in her phone. In her phone, and it looks like this. His daughter looks like my daughter. So. I mean, but how often is it that babies can look alike? But, but Your Honor. These were some wild pictures and definitely fueled Mr. Bolton's doubts significantly. Regardless of his doubts, he still stepped up as a father and provided a nurturing environment for the baby. Miss Bido would then praise Mr. Bolton for this. Upon what you see as a person, a lot of people felt like he wouldn't make it, we wouldn't make it, we wouldn't be okay. And yeah, we're going through something right now, and even him as a person, people felt like they didn't believe in him, but I believe in him. I believe in him still to this day. I believe that, you know, he is a good man and he is a good person. Yeah, and when I first asked about the DNA test, she was really, like, really upset. Yeah, she I She did crazy. kick me out, she did do that. 
Credit to Miss Beto for being so mature and composed in such an intense situation. Judge Lauren stepped in and showed sympathy for Mr. Bolton as he had been in traumatic situations before regarding paternity. I feel like, you no, know, maybe she's still been messing with this guy. Because all of a sudden, like she said, we've been together five years. It's the first time she ever got pregnant. She's coming back around, boom, baby. I'm like, what's going on? All right, so, so the that... timing felt strange to you as well. Yes, ma'am. Mr. Bolton is a good man who never hesitated to take care and bond with his potential baby. Ultimately, Mr. Bolton was just looking for a stable family, and he expressed his desire to be the biological father of the baby. I just really want to be a father to, to this child here. I've been there since day one. The baby You're shower. You're worried, still. I, I am, just because, yeah, my past, and, you know, just... And the last time you were in like court? like the signs. The last time I was in court, I mean, you know, came out, not yours. But the signs are there, so many people saying it. I need to be sure. And that's, that's, that's what's so heartbreaking about this situation. This entire situation was just really messy for their relationship and the baby who didn't deserve any of this mess. Miss Bido was extremely confident that Mr. Bolton was the father. Eventually, the DNA results were in and it was time for the moment of truth. You are her father. Oh, I can't yell these things, but what I tell you, Mm, yes. Miss McBirth brought Miss Jackson to paternity court in order to prove that her son, Mr. Hughes, did not father Miss Jackson's two year old son. Miss McBirth had no chill and immediately started accusing Miss Jackson of being a bad person. This woman is trouble. She is trouble with a capital T. She, as a matter of fact, I call her the three T's. Trash, trouble, and trifling. That's what she is. The little boy looks nothing like my son any, or any member of my family at all. Miss McBirth just kept on insulting Miss Jackson, but her main argument is that Miss Jackson's baby looks nothing like her family members or even Mr. Hughes himself. She would then bring in some images to compare the two. And you say the child looks nothing like your son. That baby, white as snow. There's no way that could be my grandchild or my son's baby. He has no features like none of us. Nobody in my family looked like that. And just by looking at this child, you've determined and said to yourself, He's I not, do not believe that's he, my he, grandchild. That, that can't happen. There's no way. Miss McBirth would point out that the baby's skin complexion looks nothing like hers or Mr. Hughes. But what she failed to realize is that Miss Jackson has a similar skin complexion to the baby. Miss McBirth would then double down on her argument. Because he's all the white, white. He ain't got no black I, in here. Uh, everything I see got mm. uh, powder puff on it. I don't see no chocolate nowhere, okay? No, ma'am. Whatever. Miss McBirth was being so disrespectful to Miss Jackson and her baby just because of his skin complexion, and this just isn't fair. Miss McBirth would then reveal her first reaction to seeing the baby. I walked past them, and I kind of looked, glanced over there, and I seen this little white baby. I knew it wasn't mine, and I ain't had nothing else to say or do about it since then. <laughs> I, I, she, she needed to get that out of her head. That child is not my son's baby, period. African American, you know our children come in all colors, shades. <laughs> Elijah she told is me very... Miss McBirth was honestly so inconsiderate and kept on saying such disrespectful things about the baby who did nothing wrong. Miss McBirth would also mention that Mr. Hughes never even signed the birth certificate, and this caused a heated argument. His name's not like even on the birth lying. certificate. Stop lying. Okay. Whose name's on the birth certificate? Do you know? Nobody's. Exactly, because it's because he went. It no, he was anybody. not there it when be, he was it born. That's baby. Exactly. I could you, put you, anybody on there, but I didn't. Exactly. You don't know. Until he gets back, that way he could be on the birth certificate. So I was waiting for him. So hold on. And we was ready to order. Let's name order. I want to understand this. Miss McBirth just kept on screaming at Miss Jackson and acted so immature in the courtroom. Miss McBirth was extremely confident that her son wasn't the father. Miss Terrell, a witness, would then accuse Miss Jackson of engaging in some pretty crazy activity. First of all, she's a liar because you just had a wild sex party that got shut down by the police station last week. That's sweet. No, oh, ma'am. Yes, you did. Not not yes, you did. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. in this That is not true. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. It is true because a, why, why, why is your neighbors, why is your neighbors complaining about the sex that goes on in your there household? There was no sex yes. going on. No. Read the police report if you want to. 
Miss McBirth and Miss Terrell just kept on screaming at Miss Jackson the entire time. Miss McBirth is definitely one of the most insufferable people on paternity court, as she insulted the baby even though he did absolutely nothing to her. When you look at this picture... It makes me want to throw up. It seems like your son is kissing the baby. It makes you want to throw up. It makes up. me want to throw up because Why? it's a lie. Why? For your son to be kissing an innocent child? Because it's not his. It doesn't matter, really, it's if he's showing his. the child love. It's not his. Miss McBirth was beyond delusional and genuinely believed that her son could do no wrong. The crazy part about this is that Mr. Hughes's father has a similar skin complexion to the baby. But Miss McBirth so conveniently never mentioned it until Mr. Hughes did. Fine hair, blue eyed dude. So. <laughs> How you know? He just, just gonna say that because, eyes. you know, she gonna freak him after this. Yeah. So now you wait a minute. You're accusing your My brother, brother. <coughs> of not having enough sense to testify as to his own experience. He's told us it wasn't his baby. He just told us that it wasn't his baby. So how? When did he tell you this? Last night. That. Even Mr. Hughes was human enough to admit that there was a chance he could be the father, since he is mixed himself. And Miss McBirth knew that she just didn't want to mention it. Miss McBirth would then analyze the features of all her grandchildren. You don't look like nobody All, all my grandbabies don't have a bridge on their nose. That like little boy got a bridge. My, my, my grandchildren all look alike. Every last one. All his, his kids, all his so kids So wait, look we're, we're looking at the bridge of the nose. Right. And you're saying none of those match. None of those he match. Has, all of his he doesn't look, look alike. nothing, nothing all, like my all son. His this entire situation was just depressing for the child as he has constantly been told that Mr. Hughes wasn't his father. Miss McBirth would then express her frustration with this whole mess, and Judge Lauren called out Mr. Hughes for causing this mess for Miss McBirth. The big picture of this is, she's not sick of the baby, she's sick of you. Cause you running around here. No, no. you running around here, you having babies. She just said it. And at the end about. of the day, it falls on her. The weight falls on her. The responsibility falls on her. I don't sleep around like that. Well, I don't know how many kids you got. <laughs> this whole case was just a mess, and Miss McBirth would just keep on insulting Miss Jackson and her baby. The stakes were astronomically high, but finally the DNA results were in, and it was time for the truth. You are Elijah's father. No! 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 You are lying, Trick. What did you do? What did Mr. Johnson was in paternity court in order to prove that he is not the biological daughter of Miss Kirby's 11-month-old son, as her son looked nothing like him. Mr. Johnson would accuse Miss Kirby of pinning the baby on him. Donna, she's trying to pin a child on me that ain't mine, and she's causing problems in my current relationship. Uh, how am I causing issues in your current relationship when you just called to me yesterday? So what are you talking about, sir? I'm not trying to keep up with you. I just wanted to know, is this really happening? So you think she's trying to pin a baby on you? Yes, Your Honor. It turns out that the baby had some medical issues and desperately needed a good father figure. The baby had a medical condition that did not run in Miss Kirby's side of the family, which gave Mr. Johnson extreme doubts. Miss Kirby would then say her side of the story. Um, we planned this baby. He told me when we first met that I was going to be his baby mom. Now that he's here, he don't want to step up. Either he step up or he step down. Excuse and me, why do you have tears in your eyes? <laughs> My baby. The baby definitely needs a nurturing home. Mr. Johnson would then mention that he grew up without knowing who his father was, so he knows the pain of growing up without a father. Mr. Johnson would state that he looked nothing like the baby. You Not are... mine. It ain't my baby. That baby don't look nothing like me. Um, I'm like, he like. So what's your point? Your Honor, I just had yes. a child and the baby looks nothing like Kaden. The ba my baby looks like me. So you are convinced that Kaden is not your biological child? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Johnson failed to take into account that Miss Kirby has a similar skin complexion to the baby and there was a valid chance he could be the father. Mr. Johnson would explain that he and Miss Kirby instantly got along. Change numbers, then the next day, boom, we having sex. It was just a sexual relationship. That's it. So, boom, you said. Yeah. And, and you just started having sex. Yes, yeah. How long did the sexual relationship last? 
where it lasted for months. And during the time, she already told me, Your Honor, that she was having sex with another guy. Mr. Johnson claimed that Miss Kirby has had intimate relations with multiple different men. Mr. Johnson would describe Miss Kirby as a promiscuous woman who wasn't afraid to put herself out there. Judge Lauren would straight up ask Miss Kirby if this was true. Was oh, that true, Miss Kirby? Were you having a guy spend the night over during yes. the time that you started yes, having? Yes, I was. Okay. Because he knew from the jump that I was sexual dealing with someone. I was dealing with someone at the time when me and him met. But I told you, him up front. You just said it was a month. It's been a month. But now you was dealing with somebody. Mr. Johnson definitely had valid reason to doubt paternity. And when he found out that Miss Kirby was pregnant, he immediately asked her if he was the father. And first Miss Kirby said no, but after some time she would start saying that he was the father. To her house and what happens? How does the script flip? <laughs> I don't know. I guess she sees that. I'm going to be around it. I'm going to help her take care of this child. She wanted to be in this child How you going to be around? You haven't life. done nothing for, from Caden since he been here. Yes, because you were saying this was this. It of wasn't course mine. I told you what he was in charge because you I, wasn't going to do nothing and I didn't want to deal with you. All right, then. So why would I do something if you're saying it ain't mine? Mr. Johnson would then reveal that he was actually only one of three possible fathers to Miss Kirby's baby, as Miss Kirby was having intimate relations with three men during the window of conception. Things were not looking good for Miss Kirby. For, be mindful that we are talking about two different guys. She was having sex with another guy before this guy that she said that's her, her um, supposed to be baby father. So you are actually one out of three. Right. Um, yes. so five. Yes. You are. It was protected. Miss Kirby mentioned that Mr. Johnson was not there throughout any of the pregnancy and did not provide much support even after the baby was born. Miss Kirby felt alone, but Mr. Johnson would deny this and claim that he did his part in providing for the baby. You wouldn't even buy a five dollar box of chicken from churches. I was taking. <laughs> I was taking you to Burger King and going to Kroger grocery shopping. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, Mr. Johnson, you know how to whine and die. <laughs> oh, woman, honey. Uh, what? This case was just tragic for the baby as he had no father figure and Mr. Johnson built no relationship with him. He has never even seen the baby in person. Mr. Johnson even said that he hopes the baby is not his. Regardless, the DNA results were in. You are the father. Congratulations are in order again.